This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence. Hi, I'm Scott from Six Points Woodworks, and we're building this 41-foot trawler yacht in the backyard of our upstate New York home. Now, she was designed with the home builder in mind, and once complete, she'll be able to cross oceans and take two people comfortably anywhere in the world that they want to go. This is the Sea Dreamer Project. I started with some much needed shop cleanup and that involved moving some stock around and getting some stock that I had set aside milled up for the top flanges on our water tanks. And this is a basic skill for all of woodworking, taking rough sawn stock and machining it flat, smooth and square. Once the wood shop was relatively clean, I was back out in the boat shed to begin planking on the port side. I started with the aftmost plank, and there's quite a bit of curve where it meets the transom, so I had to use the spiling technique to get the most accurate results. And now that I've done this a few times, it really is pretty easy to do. With your circular saw set so the teeth just barely clear the thickness of the stock, it's pretty easy to cut a curve in any board.
We want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video and Squarespace is a place where you can go and create your very own website and you can use it for your business to sell products or schedule appointments or it can be just a personal website where you share your creative passions or keep in touch with family and friends. And what I like most is that it's very easy to use. For the beginner, there's a lot of template-based, drag-and-drop interface. You don't have to know how to code or read HTML. So to get started, it's really easy. Plus, you can buy your very own personalized web domain all through the website, which makes it very simple. So head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash sixpointswoodworks to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks again to Squarespace, and we hope you go check them out. My wife's been working from home and I think when you're working from home you tend to put in more hours per day and that's allowed her to flex her Fridays off and she offered to come help me out in the shop and of course I didn't refuse. So she worked on filling screw holes and seams in the bulkhead while I worked on the stem and getting ready for some more planking. Can you go out anymore? You're gonna hit the side of the building just so you know. Oh, that's so good.
The floor in a boat, the part that you walk on, isn't called a floor. It's called a sole. And I began working on the sole supports for the forward part of the boat, underneath which the black water tank is going to go. And while I'm having a little bit of trouble with my plastic tank fabricator getting the final numbers to me, I'm still moving forward with getting that area ready for the tank itself. The installation process is pretty straightforward. I had to remove some bolts from the frame gussets, but I'll replace those with bolts that go through our sole supports into the frames as well. And Sonia fears its release. Teabing. Yesterday afternoon, Silas had phoned the curator to have to use it. Although the idea troubled him, he knew he was a Jew. Langdon's blue eyes had his greatest secrets, and he troubled himself with a woman. That block works on Reddit, not on me. I know you. And then tumbling downward, end over end. What could be our new soon? Could be none other. Where is the map? Without blinking. Langdon reached into the breast pocket of his tweed coat and carefully Please, oh God, please, it's not too late. Entered on Fascist heel, seizing the anguished prisoner of blood flowing from the bullet wound below his ribs. Still, his broken body was Silas prayed. He prayed for forgiveness. He prayed for mercy. I put my niece to work helping me build a template that would allow us to cut a single sheet of plywood to fit in this awkwardly shaped area in the forward part of the boat. Now there's still work to do with painting and hatches and the actual permanent install with adhesive and fasteners, but right now it's fit into position.
Alright, that fit looks really good and that was on the first shot. Sometimes I even impress myself. However, we were working with templates and it's hard to get it wrong when you build a template first. Now, I'm not going to do the install, the permanent install just yet because I want to have a chance to paint all the surfaces, but otherwise it's uh, gravity will hold it in position and it's nice to have the ability to uh, help us get in and out of the boat with this additional platform in here. You know, because I built my boat shed too small, too short, and too narrow, it gets more challenging as the planking goes up to get in and out of the boat and having these uh, elevated platforms makes it much easier. Now, it did come at a bit of a cost here. When I moved this piece of plywood into the boat initially, and I was just roughly positioning, um, I felt a pop in my left arm, and uh, obviously it hurt. And when I reached over to check, uh, I noticed that there was a dent where my bicep muscle used to be. So, uh, that was on a Friday. I took the weekend off just to kind of let it uh, rest and see how, if there was any recovery. But judging by the bruise that uh, I'm seeing here and the absence of the tendon that I don't feel over here and I do feel over here, I'm pretty sure that I tore my bicep tendon. So I saw my orthopedic surgeon yeah, I have an orthopedic surgeon, it's a long story. Uh, on Tuesday, I got the MRI on Tuesday. Now we're just waiting to get the results back and we're hoping for a just a partial tear because if I need surgery, and that's really the only way to fix an injury like this, the recovery is really long, like four to six months of limited ability and then like a year to get back a full strength. So if I can avoid surgery, I want to. Um, you know, I got this into position, as you see it now, after the injury and um, it really wasn't that bad. Um, I have a little diminished mobility, uh, a little bit of discomfort, but it really wasn't that bad. Being my left arm, you know, I'm not a professional athlete. Uh, not doing surgery is an option, but my surgeon is leaning towards surgery if uh, it is a tear. But we'll have to see what the MRI shows, what the surgeon thinks, and we'll go from there. But otherwise, everything else on the project is going really well. We've got three rows of planking on both sides of the boat. I'm very comfortable with the process now. I really have a, a feel for it and feel like I can get in a groove when I'm doing it. And uh, it's been pretty easy so far. We hope folks will go check out the description in this video where you'll find a link and a discount code that you can use over at Jamestown Distributors to save yourself some money on any Total Boat products. Jamestown's been a big supporter of ours and we hope that our viewers will help support companies that support the Sea Dreamer project. We want to thank Squarespace again for sponsoring this video. They've been great to work with and I really like their product. You can start for free, so I hope that you go check them out and let me know what you think. We hope folks will go check out our social media sites. We're on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Make sure you like those pages so you can follow along as we work in real time. That's how we stay connected with our audience in between videos. If you're in a position to help support the project, we hope folks will check out our merchandise store. You should see a link that's either right next to or below this video. Every dollar spent over there goes right back into the project that we put out as content. So if you're in a position to help, we would be very grateful. Now you know we've always been big supporters of our first responders, so if you're current or former police, fire, EMS, communications, any kind of public safety or the armed forces, and you want to have a patch from your agency represented on our salute to service wall, we would be honored to have it. Just send me an email at contact at cdreamerproject.com, I'll give you our address and you can get that mailed out to us. And finally, your job is what it always is, like, subscribe, and share, we'll see you next time. What a bummer. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up.